Okay, Eileen and Dorothy are already here. Way cool. Um, let me do pop chat and get rid of this crap. All right, I don't know if I'm even close to ready. Um, let me put something here so you have something to look at and get things squared away. Yeah, this I, I finished um, yesterday when, I don't know, I was doing something, listening to something. And Hi, CB. Hi, Galena. Um, yeah, I finished this one yesterday. I have, I have one more. This one that I still haven't done anything with. This is the coffee one. Um, it got a little dark, actually, um, even though I really like it. And I went ahead and I had done these on 140 pound um, <clears throat> watercolor paper, which I think was good because the paper absorbed a lot of the water, um, helped it dry quicker and didn't well or so much. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, Lynn. Um, so anyway, I did go ahead and... Um, affix them to some cereal box weight um, chipboard. So they're pretty substantial. I mean, just the, the texture material themselves and then putting them on um, cardboard really help to flatten them. You can kind of see how this one's still kind of curled. I think when I get it affixed to the cardboard, it will lay a lot flatter. Um, so, yeah, this one I went ahead and did yesterday. I don't know. Maybe it was while Dee, Dee was streaming or something. I don't know. But they, they just feel so good. Now, I haven't put matte medium on any of them, and I, ha I don't think I'm going to do anything with this one, actually. Um, but they've got a little bit of a curl to them, but I think I can work that out of them. Um, so... This one really just reminds me so much of moss in the forest. And I did it to all of them. Um, so I've got to paint the back now. And one thing, you know, when I was thinking about how to build them into journal covers, and I was going to ask you guys advice. Hi, Leather and Jade. Um, they are fun to do. Jen's last night were really fun. That's why I got more stuff out. I want to do the gold one with the, um, I don't have the re-inker um, for the walnut stain, but I do have the re-inker for the um, vintage photo. So um, yeah, I want to do a gold one like that. And I loved her blue one. Um, but they're, I mean, you can bend them and mess with them. And after I get a coat of matte medium on them, yeah, these things are going to be indestructible, I think. This is the eggshell one. I did add more color after we were done the other day. Um, I think if there's any one that's going to be fragile at all, it might be this one. But even then, I don't think it's going to be. But I did add more color to this one. I added the red. And somehow that yellow, a lot of it turned green, kind of a green color. This one came out really cool, I think. Make a thong with the property. <laughs> <laughs> so I probably need to put them under something um, heavy. Um, and this is the glass bead. Um, I could actually add to this one, I think. I think I'm going to actually. So I'll put that in that pile. This is the string one um, with the gauze. I love the texture of the gauze. The gauze is so neat. So I would do another one like this for sure. And then this is my just favorite. I like, In fact, if I keep one of them, it will be this one. But anyway, what I was thinking and when, when we were at Jen's last night, um, I told her to leave one edge of the paper to build the, um, the journal on. Because ideally what I'd like to do is 
um, make them like the book. And I meant to get that out. Let me go get it. That Teresa made for us before we went to Oz with that crazy gold inside. Let me see if I can get it. Okay, this is kind of what I I was thinking about for the inside of the journal. Um, hi, Colleen. Um, is like this um, because because of the texture, you know, they may not be a journal that's good for arting in or writing on or writing in, especially if you're writing on this side. But maybe like this one would be fine. And they might be, but I thought, you know, maybe more of a collection type innards would be better. So I was thinking about that. But then when you look at the actual journal construction, um, it's going to have to be something that affixes on one of the edge. Um, and ideally, you want it on the outside rather than on the inside. I mean, I could I could construct from back here, and that's what I... Um, collection innards. <laughs> um, that's the advice I was going to ask you guys. Like this one, I've got enough of an edge here or an edge here that I probably could get something to stick there to make this the journal um, cover. Um, because otherwise, I have to hide this edge somehow. Um, and this one, I think, you know, I could use that edge. But some of them, like this one, well, maybe this edge, if I could scrape some of that off, I could use that edge. But see, what I'm saying is I didn't plan these for journal covers. So this one, it's, it, yeah, that's going to be hard to turn into a journal and still make it look really finished. So if you guys got any ideas about, at this point, how to construct it so that I don't have to alter these too much. I think this one I could maybe make work over here. Um, but I'm not going to have much of an area to hinge to. You know what I'm saying? Do you guys know what I'm saying? Somebody answer me. I don't have any gold leafing, no. And I don't have any foil either. But after watching Z the other night, I'm thinking I might want to get some foil. Okay, so use a stab binding. Is that what, what's a stab binding where I have to punch holes in it? I don't know a stab binding. I'm not a book binder, believe it or not. I mean, I can make journals and I understand the basic construction, but I'd like it to be nice and finished, you know, where she obviously has wrapped paper around this whole thing. Um, it's three pieces of chipboard, I believe. Um, I know how to do those um, and then put a tie on it much like in the inside. I could decorate really any way I want. Holes, I'd have to watch a video on it. Okay. All right. I guess I could do that. How about adhering it to another piece of material so it looks like an embellishment? Well, I thought about that. Um, that I actually could um, affix something on the back. Um, but still I need, I, I've still got to finish this, you know, the edge, whatever the edge is that, that meets up with the binding. Um, you know, maybe stab binding is going to be what it has to be. I'm not crazy about, or do a journal you make and add to the cover. That's true. That's yeah. So anyway, that's kind of what I was thinking. And some of them are, I'm going to be able to, I think, do relatively easy. This one I'm, is, is mine. So I thought, well, I'll practice on it because this one, just out of sheer luck, I think I could get something to stick on this edge, you know, that I could use that edge and make it work or this edge, you know, if I want it. Well, if I'm doing a book like this, um, I definitely would want the the binding on the long edge. So 
Anyway, that's what I'm thinking. The Japanese stand binding technique is beautiful. Okay, Lynn, I will go in and um, I'll go and look for that. Japanese stand binding. I will write myself a little note here. I got paper over here. I will look up Japanese stamp binding. Got it. That is what I will do this weekend. <coughs> Hi, Dee Dee. Um, so anyway, I thought after watching Jen last night, I'm just eager to make a gold one. I love these with the um, raw sienna background. I think they're very grungy and earthy looking. Um, yeah, this is the one that you, well, no, where is that one? Well, that has to be it. Yeah, this is the only one that you guys hadn't seen yet. And it had, it's gotten kind of dark, but it's still grungy. It's very cool looking. So I'm gonna have to cut the paper. You'd think that I could get some stuff um, prepared to go online, but I didn't. So we're going to get over it and go on from here. I think the stamp binding also allows the book to lay flat. Okay. All right. I'm going to look into that. Thanks for the suggestion, you guys. I will definitely be looking into that. Um, but these, I think I'm going to do what I told Jen to do last night is go ahead and um, pre-plan a little bit, you know, and leave at least a quarter inch on the edge for binding, maybe even a little bit more than that. So it'll look weird until I get it bound. But And I'm still, I'm just going to go ahead and use the... Um, 140 pound, four and a half. So that's that right there. Um, watercolor paper, one, because I have a bunch of it. And um, by using it up, I can justify buying the other paper that I really do want. <laughs> How's that? <laughs> um, but I think helping it absorb the moisture is a good thing. It's substantial enough. Oh, my God, a ruler already. We're not using the ruler. I just had to cut the paper the right size. Look, we have good size paper now. Don't get your panties on the wad there, Eileen. All right. So what Jen did last night, if I'm remembering right now, I've slept overnight. Hi, Elizabeth. I'm so excited for you to find me live, too. Okay, Jade's name is actually Stephanie. <laughs> Stephanie, I hope I remember that. Don't don't count on it though. Um, I'm gonna use. I really did like the um, the clear gesso thickened with powder. I think that worked really well. So I'm gonna use that again. Um, and plus, I think it leaves. A texture that's really good for decorating on. So, um, yep, Monkey Island Madness on a Friday. Can you believe that? We got robbed of Dee Dee today, so now you're dealing with this. Dee Dee streamed yesterday, though. So, all right, let me find my knife here. I think I put one of them away. Yeah, this one's good. Yeah, this one'll work. So here we go again. Just got my house back in order from the other day when we trashed it out, and we're going to go for it again. I'm interested to see this weekend how many people come for the weekend because schools are starting down here now. So I'm hoping a lot of these city people stay home because... <laughs> Excuse me, school sports is starting, and yeah, we may start having a lot more nice, quiet weekends down here. And using this way, the baby powder smells so good. Takes a lot of baby powder, though. Who cares? You did great as a teacher last night. Very proud of you. Well, believe me, you had set the bar so darn high, Eileen. 
that I really had to step up my game, which was really hard because it was kind of late at night for me. Usually I'm sitting on the couch eating fudge sickles at that time of night. <laughs> Jen was so she's so cute. She she was absolutely all game. She was into it. And I was just kept thinking everything she got out was just like, oh, you poor thing. The cleanup after this stream is immense, girl. <laughs> Hi, Miss Nobody Owens. That was a fun stream last night, and Jen did great. And that's why I want to do that gold one, because that one came out just gorgeous. All right. And this doesn't have to have a lot of texture on its own, because the toilet paper is going to provide a lot of texture. And, and Jen did the toilet paper different. She kind of tore it up um, into pieces, and it was, it was very textury. So, yeah, we're going to try that. So I have my handy dandy toilet paper here. She tore it up more like this. And I just um, put it all on there in a wad. So I thought, well, I'll try it this way this time. Another thing I did that I'm going to do next after this one, because I want to do a blue one too. Yeah, the crackle was awesome. Way awesome. Uh, we could do that with white glue. And um, I don't have any actual crackle paste. Um, we're talking about um, Jen. Her name is Ozegran, Ozegran, O-Z-E-G-R-A-N, I believe. Um, but I don't remember her channel name. Eileen, do you remember um, her channel name? Because it's not, maybe if you type in Ozegran, it would come up. Um, but it seems to me like hers has something to do with scrap. But I could be wrong. Um, yeah, thanks, Mom. That's what I felt like. You did great. Thanks, Mom. I'm feeling proud of myself now, Mom. All right, so I've got to remember to, oh, you know what would be the best thing, honestly, to do? Because this is really messy, you guys. Really, really messy. Maybe I could use this since I bought it and I never use it. I'll tape off. I think Jen left a little bit too much. Eileen, can I use my ruler? <laughs> I have to. My OCD won't let me do anything other than use the ruler. I'm going to leave about three-eighths on this edge. I think a quarter is a little bit not enough. So, sorry. Had to use the ruler there. And if it's not a straight line, it will make me nervous or something it's it's an illness eileen just get over it all right here we go <clears throat> okay there Dee, Dee got it for you thanks Dee, Dee. jen's really funny and her um accent is awesome she's got a real fun sense of humor um and for those of you who are kind of new um Jen is who Xandra CB and I went to visit in Australia earlier this year. And she was the best. Her whole family was. I mean, honestly, I, I couldn't say enough about any or all of them. They were just so gracious to us. And then Jen had been here to visit us the year before. So that's how a lot of us, well, we know her from Ustream, actually. But a lot of us know her in real life because she actually came to the States and, um, and met us and stayed with us. So one more time, geesh. <laughs> All right. I think this is kind of how Jen did it. She just took her pieces and smushed them in there, which was a great idea. This is multiple ply. So the plies might want to come apart. I don't know, but hers was really, really textured. So that's what we're doing. Oh, my hands already. Ugh. That's all right. It's Friday. What do, I, what do I care? But hers looked real fluffy, didn't it, Eileen? It was just like real fluffy.
I don't think you can screw this up, honestly. I really don't. But if you're new, don't be intimidated, you know, by the fact that a lot of us know each other because we've known each other for a long, long time. Way back on Ustream before we all moved to YouTube. Um, yeah, we're we're very welcoming and enjoy new people, so don't feel intimidated by that. Does that look like it, Eileen? I think it kind of does. And then I don't remember what she did. I think she just took some gesso and put it on top. You peeps are OG. OG. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put some, um, maybe I'll just, I've got to do this to kind of keep this to stay in place a little bit. So, all right, now I have a um, chore to this weekend is watch some of those videos. It's got to stay smushed down. That's for one thing. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> okay. Eileen just put in the video from last night. It was fun. Jen is, she's a good sport. Eileen goes to her channel and, and does what she does here. She goes over there and she gets all bossy. And um, yeah, it's a good opportunity to just make fun of her. All right. This is pretty much what I had in mind, I think. Now I'm going to have to like, Last time we did this, Eileen had instructed me before to get the um, the pages pre-prepared. Um, we don't have that luxury today. All right. It's not too bad. Um, let me put some here in the corners. All right, this looks really, really fluffy now. When it sticks to your finger, ugh. I don't think Jean would like doing this. Something tells me Jean would not be happy with this. Hi, Nancy. It is fluffy, right? Hi, Sharon. Hey, Elaine. All right, we're going to put some blow dry on this, I think. Just looking at it. All right, baby wipe. When you're done with this, you definitely need a scrubby. Oh, my God, blow dry. <laughs> Hi, Jean. <laughs> Mud pies only vanilla. There you go. All right. We're going to kind of clean this up. It's icky. All right, we're going to dry with our heat gun. 
I'm glad Eileen got up early and went to the liquor store. We might be able to live with her today. All right, sorry, I won't be talking because Jen told me when the blow dryer, when the, sorry, the heat gun's going, you can't hear or understand me anyway, so just bear with me. Hi, Marie. Hi, Joey. It doesn't take long. I just said you can't hear me and then I start talking. Duh. I'm doing this one in the gold like Jen did because that gold one she did, oh my gosh, it was so pretty. can hear me. You can live with Eileen Drunk. Of course. Actually, I think she stopped most of the time with you two. But Nicola, after you watch us, you have to do it yourself. It won't take another minute here. And then I'll set it aside and we'll do another one. I think I'll use the lint dryer or the dryer lint. Ooh, the lint dryer. That's the nice thing about acrylic products. I'm going to set this one aside and let it continue drying. One, the watercolor paper so soaked up some of the moisture, and then acrylic products, by their nature, just dry fast. So that's cool. Eileen, just keep egging me on, girl. Just keep egging me on. <laughs> All right. Next is, we're going to do the dryer lint. I don't know how it's going to work, but when I pulled it out of the dryer yesterday, I was just like, oh, I could do that with texture. So, yep, Eileen has now officially created a monster. I was kind of a monster before, but now it's official. I don't want to do the eggshells again. Oh my gosh, that was such a mess. They were everywhere, honestly. And then I told everybody at Jen's stream last night, I didn't vacuum the day that I did the eggshells, okay? Because I thought, well, I'm going to be messing with them tomorrow, so I'm going to make another mess. I'll just wait and vacuum tomorrow, right? Because vacuuming is not something I'm really excited about doing. But anyway, I went to bed that night and I where I guess it was the next day, pulled my sheets back, and there's an eggshell in my bed. <laughs> it's just like, oh, my God, that's what you get for not vacuuming when I should have. Yeah, eggshell in my bed. That was a mess. Eggshell and cat hair in my bed. Could you put color of some kind in the gesso before you mess on the paper. I'm not sure why you couldn't. Um, yeah, I'm sure you could colorize this. And I guess it would eliminate one step. I don't remember what... Um, the blue one Jen used, it was like a, a shimmery turquoise color. We can try it, Elaine, just for the hell of it. Let me see what we've got for um, Let's 
I'm, I don't think I have like the turquoise colors that Jen had, but that light blue one she did was so pretty too. I'm just looking here. Um, here's a turquoise. Well, yeah, it's going to be shimmery, I think. Let's just do it. We'll colorize it first and find out. It would save a step, actually. This is clear gesso, um, Jean. Yeah, I'm using clear gesso. So we're going to go ahead and use the um, FW Acrylic Artist Ink in turquoise. Just another thing we can learn. I'm not sure how much color to add. So, oh, and it's not shimmery. Oh, well. There you go. Where's Joycey? Robin's egg blue. I want it darker than that. That's for sure. Because all you're doing is giving yourself a base color to work with, which is what I did with the raw sienna anyway. It will all be the same color. Yes, it will be. Um, which the rust, well, no, I guess I did add different colors. Um, you know what? While it's wet, what I'll do to get the different colors, um, I'll sprinkle some magicals on it. That's still. I wish I could remember what color Jen's was now, but that shimmer turquoise she had was so pretty. We don't like it. It's just paper and dryer lint. Throw it away. Start over. Just like ice in a cake here. Oops, I forgot to leave myself. Close your eyes, Eileen. I'm going to measure. And I don't care if it's exactly straight, but I can't just guesstimate. Just can't do it. All right, and, and if you came in late, the reason I'm putting that on is I'm leaving myself um, space for binding later in case I want to turn it into a journal cover, which I probably will. Can you hear my stomach growl? All right. Get ready to get messy. Here's the dryer lint. And it has a lot of long blonde hairs in it. Um, oh, this is going to be messy. Messy, 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 messy. That's all right. Look at There's dirt and long blonde hairs. Whoever gets this one, you get my long blonde hairs free of charge. Long blonde hairs wreck your vacuum, just saying. <laughs> yeah, see, was there any real advantage to colorizing that? Because as soon as you put whatever you're putting on top of it, it goes away anyway. So um, I will put some of that stuff down on top of that, though. But yeah, I'm not sure that you really gained um, a whole lot by colorizing it first. Just saying. I should have done it when I did Robert's um, white t-shirts, huh? It is weird. It is way weird. Um, but it ought to give us a real weird texture too. All right, here we go. All right, I'm going to have to do this with my fingers, I think. Oh, OMG. 
See the long blonde hairs? <laughs> this may not be a great idea, you guys. I, I'm just trying it. I didn't say it's a great idea. But it ought to leave a lot of textures. Of course, with all this gesso and powder, it's going to weigh 15 pounds. You're going to have to get your wheelbar wheelbarrow to play in your journal. <laughs> Guess I'll get the journal out. <laughs> Honey, can you bring in the forklift? <laughs> I'm killing myself now. <laughs> Now, ask me if this is such a good idea at this point. Hmm, don't know. Too early to tell. I wish I could be reading chat right now to see what you guys are saying, but I really can't pay attention. This is a lot of texture, for real. A lot of texture. Now I'm smushing it down so that it, it doesn't, it isn't two inches high, right? There's a big old air bubble right in there. All right, it's got blue all over it now. All right, now while this is wet, I'm, well, I'm trying to think, because the Magicals I really have to add water to, um, to get them to do really fun, crazy stuff, right? Um, I don't think, hi, Shauna, how much do we have to pay for Jean to do this? It's just a texture page. Um, you never know, but the thing is, you know, if, if it doesn't work out good, who cares? Throw it away. Get on down the road, but I'm going to try and get some, look at, there's some air in there. All right, baby wipe. Eek! A billion dollars to get Jean to do this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is not something Jean is going to do um, without a gun to her head. Pretty sure. All right. It looks cool. So, all right. Before I'm going to wipe this up before I dry, because otherwise, then I have to clean it up when it's dry and it's harder. Anything sticking out over the edge gets cut off. So. Um, no worries there. All right, trash. We're going to dry it real quick. Heat gun. Hi, 
Gyro. Oh, you couldn't use gyro lint? Why? It's just lint off of your clothes. Yeah, no, it's all good. And now it's covered up. You know, it's almost like it's sterile now. I think it's cool looking. This one might take a long time to dry, considering the amount of fiber in there. Sterile dryer lint. Yeah. Why not? It's drying, though. I just can't get, get my fingers out of it, apparently. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Ruby. It does look like you're in second right here. Hi, Kitty. Okay, CB, go have fun. And you know Eileen, she's going to get me in trouble whether I want to or not. But that's okay. Diddy passed out. No, Diddy's probably coloring or doing something. Now that it's drying, okay, now this is going to be fun. Now that it's drying, rather than having smooth humps, like when I just touched it, I can get some cool cracks. I might have to do some crackle too because that was pretty cool when Jen did crackle last night. But now that it's drying a little bit and it will hold its shape a little bit more, I'm going to do some more texture. Because what's really cool, what I like the best when you're doing this is um, the cracks and the crevices when it gets different colors down deeper. Um, there's just something way cool about that. So, okay. Hi, Josie. How did you get pan pastel spray? Well, you have now I learned in your journal that you don't keep. <clears throat> you haven't missed anything, can you? We're just still doing um, text because Jen did them last night and she did different colors and I want those colors. Thank you, Josie. And the thing is, if it's if I don't like it, it goes in the garbage. Who cares? I do wish that this was shimmering. So I'm going to have to um, I'm going to have to get those crazy watercolors, Eileen, because now all of a sudden I want shimmer. I'm trying to think if I have any other things that I really do. It looked good to see the crystal ball team. It was good. I know you, Brat. You already ordered yours. I haven't. No, this texture looks really cool. All right, it's it's dry to the touch. Um, there's still a lot of give in it, um, which is fine. Actually, now when I smush it down, it makes a lot of cracks. Um, now I'm trying to think. Um, Jen used crackle 
um, texture last night and I don't have any crackle. Well, let me look. You know what? I think I just lied to you. I think I do have some Tim Holtz crackle. It just dawned on me. I think Cooey gave me some. Let me look. I think I do. Where would I have put it? I remember having that. Down here at the bottom. Oh, no. This is distressed collage medium. Hmm. I could have sworn I had some texture. Well, we can do DIY cra um, crackle for sure. Um, just look in what else is down here. Um, collage medium. And all that is is a tinted gel medium, ideal for gluing, layering, whatever. So. Um, and it's not here. So if I'm going to do it, I'm going to have to do it um, just with white PVA glue and um, acrylic paint, which is fine too. What did you use for this one? Josie, this is dryer lint. Uh, years are coming tomorrow. I haven't hit the button yet. I want to, but yeah, I'm going to leave this one. It's calmed down a lot from early, early on. But yeah, it's got a lot of really good cracks and stuff in it. So I'm going to leave it alone. Two, do I see if it won't always have a little bit of give? Let me set this up here. And I'm going to try and think now. Um, when you do the DIY um, crackle, um, I'm sure a lot of you have done it. You just do a layer of PVA glue and you can water it down. Um, and whichever way your brush strokes go is the way that your crackle is going to crack. So if your brush strokes are going vertically, your cracks are going to be vertical vertical. If you do it horizontally, they'll be horizontal. And then you cover that with acrylic paint. And it's I think the um, difference in the drawing time that the acrylic paint starts cracking. And it's really cool. I'm just trying to think how to do it on top of um, something with a lot of texture. Um, you use the lint to start fires. That's kind of a good idea. Um, I don't start fires. Robert uses diesel. <laughs> okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. Um, because the crackle one that Jen did was really, really cool. So I'm wondering if I should just do um, like a toilet paper one and then do the PV on top of it. But I kind of like, okay, think about this, Eileen, what are you thinking? Um, I'm wondering if I did the texture with just the um, cheap white school glue and while it's still wet, let's try that. I'll use the the glue, and while it's still real wet with the toilet paper in it, go ahead and then cover it with the acrylic paint. So I've got to have everything prepared beforehand. So what color do I want? I got to go wipe this off. Um, I've got to have the acrylic paint out ready to go because you've got to do it while they're both wet.
good enough until later. I mean, I could do it in white, but I want to do a different color. I've got the black right here, these blue, gold. Here's turquoise. We already got a turquoise one. We need a good base color to add on top of it. That's why I like the raw sienna because it um, it was a really, really good neutral color to add on top of. You know, that blue one is going to be harder to work with now because, you know, only so many colors are going to work well on top of it. So, um, and I'd like to use a cheap craft paint. Um, I tried heavy body paints with this, and for whatever reason, the cheap um, acrylic paints work better for the DIY crackle. Don't know why. All right. I'm not watching chat, so if you're talking, I can't hear you. I'm wondering if we should do a real light color. I know a lot of people really like purple. What's this? Green. I've done a green one. I'm pulling everything out of this cupboard. I'm so going to hate myself in a couple of hours. All right, maybe just a, a neutral tan color, like a mocha. You know what? That will be pretty because then I'll put a darker color in to fill in the cracks. All right, I've got a plan. Got a plan, got a plan. I'm just going to use like a real neutral mocha color. Um, a spray paint. If you have crackle stamp, smush the stamp. If you have crackle stamp. Smush the stamp into some texture paste. I do have a crackle stamp somewhere, but we're going to try this, okay? Trying to think the best way. I think I'm just going to look the other way, Eileen. <laughs> you have to be pretty old to remember that. This streaker song. You barely even noticed, huh? Had to reboot. You took a good screenshot for opening video. I did, Dee Dee, didn't I? <laughs> I actually got myself ready and did something right for a change. <laughs> oh, you guys, I pretty much fly by the seat of my pants most of the time. So, um, yeah, that one's not long enough. Look at, there's cat hair. <clears throat> I don't know how this is going to work, you guys. Um, we're going to find out. Okay, because we're going to just smush the glue down. Make sure we've got a really good coating of glue. And right now is a great time to buy the school glue. School glue. While it's on sale for back to school sales. Just when I thought it couldn't get any crazier, it got crazier. What I want to know is, Eileen, how many of these have you done yourself? Huh? 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 Another weird thing is the with the glue, I hadn't thought about that. It's going to act like a gloss medium, actually. It's going to probably resist some of the colors. Well, but we're going to put acrylic on top of it, so I don't know. We're just going to see. We're just going to see. Fortunately, we've got more toilet paper. You've done it years ago. And then what? Did you move? Do You didn't even stay in that house?
because your house is really trashed out when you're done here. I'm telling you. All right, I want that not to curl. I'm trying not to get glue on my hands because you know what's going to happen. It just happened. <laughs> oh, well. I should have gotten a wet rag when I was over there. Ah. Paper towel might be fun, too, just because the paper towel would have more um, more texture to it, its own self, you know. All right. Here we go. The hands are in the glue now. There's no going back. This is it. This is your life. You need to get more drier, long, and roll it in and get more drier, lint and roll it in and glue it. Okay, what the hell, Joycey? There's probably drier lint in the trash, but yeah, I'm not going to dig it out of the trash. I actually got that out of the dryer lint container thing, you know. All right, now it needs a good coat of glue. I might have to spread this with um My, well, I guess my finger actually will be the best thing. I was going to say a paintbrush, but actually um, my finger probably is the best choice here. Oh, okay, show what a finished one is. Okay, hang on just a second, Dee Dee. I've got glue on myself now, but yeah, I will happily show a finished piece here in just a second. And what I'm trying to do with this one is do the DIY um, crackle. Um, a lot of, well, almost every company now sells its own crackle medium where when it dries, cracks will show up. Um, and it, it's cool. I love crackle medium. Um, and it makes things look really old and grungy and um, it's just cool looking. And to do DIY, all you have to do is get some PVA glue, which is um, polyvinyl something or other. Um, we just call it white school glue. The cheap white school glue is PVA glue. And while it's still wet, and you need a pretty good coat of it. Um, while it's still wet, um, cover it with um, acrylic paint. Any kind of, I like cheap craft acrylic paint. Um, just paint it over it. And then the two have different drawing rates, drying rates. And I think that's what creates the crackle. And I'm just going to use my crappy old glue brush. You guys probably think I don't have any other paint brushes besides this one, right? Because I use it all the time. Um, and as soon as I finish this part of it, I'll show some of the. Um, finished ones. And whichever way. Your brush strokes go. So if. If I want crackles going both ways, I would do my brush strokes going both ways. My crackles are all going to go this way. 
And then with the texture, I've never done it over texture like this before. So who knows what we're going to get, but we will find out. And I just picked this color of paint because it's real neutral. We can add almost anything on top of it. And it should look good. We can cover the whole thing, actually. All right, there we go. Don't overwork it. That's one thing for sure. All right. Now I definitely need some water. There we go. All right. Put that in the water too. That probably will end up thrown away. All right. Oops, I got blue paint on the paper. Bummer, dude. All right. The trash can is overflowing. All right. I'll just let that sit in the air dry for a minute, and then I'll show the, the ones that we did the other day. Um, this was the eggshell one. This is eggshells that we smushed up membrane removed and then put on this one came out really cool and it feels really good it's going to feel really good after i get a, a layer of matte medium on it too and at this point now the eggshells are no longer fragile i mean i think i could do anything to this and those eggshells aren't i mean they're not going to break they're not going to fall off because the acrylic acts like a glue right this is one that some of you didn't see the last time. I did the texture, but I hadn't painted it or anything. I like this one. I used kind of more shimmery on it, so it's a lot more shimmery. But I like that when the dark colors get down in the crevices like that, it's just like so cool looking. This one's just gauze and string. And I will cover every one of these in matte medium. Um, you want the eggshell or send you a picture of the eggshell? Absolutely, Joycey. I will. Your package is all done already, but I, will, I can definitely do pictures. And all these, other than that last one, um, all these are on Instagram. I did photograph them and put them on Instagram. This one to me looks like a forest floor. It's all mossy. This is my favorite. This is the one I will keep. This is the toilet paper that I did. I just love the colors of this, the brown. I did put some blue on here. There's navy blue, but it came out more like a dark brown. It's just, oh, that's so pretty. This one is so pretty. This one I want to do more too. I'm not happy with this one. I don't think I like the, I, I like the glass beads, but I don't know. This one definitely needs something. This one I still have to finish. I have to add color to it. I'll leave this one out and we'll mess with it today. Um, this was Coffee Grounds. Um, this one's going to be easy to turn into a journal cover because I have this edge over here to work with that I can go ahead and clean off a little bit. This one's going to be easier to work with. But honestly, I'm beginning to think you could um, you could put like twigs in there you could put almost anything and then this one is spackling just like dap that you spackle your walls with um that's what this one is and it's real colorful red green blue with silver on top well actually it was white on top but yeah don't they just all add some gold to the glass bead one yeah we're gonna i'm gonna have to do something eileen because i'm just i'm not loving that one um so we'll leave these two out and we'll play with them some more and then i could add more to this one this is the one where we did the toilet paper pleated and i like the feel of it um i just don't like the colors and stuff so this one i'm almost ready to start over <clears throat> so yeah they came out really cool um, I'm going to go ahead and blow dry the, or dry this real quick. I know when I say blow dry, ugh. Stouffer's lasagna rocks. I agree, Stephanie. I love Stouffer's lasagna. I can't make it that good. I promise you. <laughs> I can't. Ridiculous. All right. 
Heat gun. Hopefully we'll get some crackle. Keep your fingers crossed. If it doesn't crackle, this will work on a flat surface. So I just don't know what to expect. I put a water down the glue too, but it shouldn't make a difference. Yay. Come on, crackle. Oh, it's crackling up here. There's some crackle. All right, it's crackling. Eggplant. I'm not a huge eggplant fan, but I would eat that. All right, we're getting some good crackle here on the edges anyway. I don't want to touch it because I don't want to mess with how it's going to crackle if it's going to. And we're going to lose the dairy, really. Oh, that does sound cool, Jean. I'm seeing it's trying to crackle in here a little bit, so we'll see. It definitely is crackling on this edge over here and here. And it could be that the paper, the toilet paper absorbed too much of the glue, too. See, that's... Um, and it crackles more when you let it dry on its own. That's true, Jean. I just don't have, um, don't got the time, man. It is working though. I'm going to get crackle. Maybe just not as much as I would want, but it's cool. We'll get it figured out. It's still very interesting texture, I have to say. There's, it's wanting to crack on there. Oddly enough, it's crackling. I'm going to set this aside and let it dry um, naturally. Because um, look at how much water has leached out of it. Um, tons of water. Um, but oddly enough, it's getting crackle everywhere that there wasn't um, toilet paper. Which means one, it's drawing faster there. Um, but yeah, I'll set this aside and let it dry for a little while on its own. <laughs> well, isn't that a pleasant idea, Elaine? I'm not going to repeat that. Of course, now on YouTube, um, 
the chat goes with the video, so people can read it anyway. I'm going to flip this over and try it from the back side real quick. This is paper in the back. Come on, I want the people. I'm impatient. Yeah, exactly. Whatever you say in chat, people can see now. It's not like you stream where the chat disappeared. All right, I've got one more piece of paper cut, so we go ahead and do one more, or we can start. Um, yeah, I, I know I can turn the chat off so it doesn't go. I figure what the hell. I think the chat makes it pretty interesting, though. Um, I like videos where the chat goes along with it. All right, I'm going to leave this and let it dry. We may not get any crackle. But anyway, if you want crackle, just look up DIY crackle on um, YouTube. You'll a videos on it. So should we start decorating the two that we've already got? Let's look at them real quick. They're still real wet. This is the dryer lint one. It's cool looking. Um, I'm going to go ahead and dry this one because we're going to do this one in gold. Yeah, it is interesting and helpful for links. That's for sure. We go by. <laughs> what everybody wants to do. I'm going to have to dry this one a little bit more. It's not quite dry enough. So, sorry. Actually, I think this piece will look like a lot of time to dry. Good day, Get more people subscribed because the, the chat and the group is fun. I would tend to agree with that. Um, yeah. Eileen, do you remember how Jen um, applied that gold, that Bria Reese gold last night? Um, did she brush it on? I don't remember. Yes, and that's another thing Lynn just pointed out. If, if you want to retract anything you put into chat, you can do that yourself. You do not need a mark. Saving that edge is really, I wish I'd done that on all the first ones because that's going to make binding these so much easier. Okay, okay, thanks. And it's heavy body, so I suspect she must have um, watered it down. It's getting pretty dry. Of course, at this point, it's dry enough that the, the toilet paper itself is not going anywhere. Um, that's what I thought, too, Eileen, that she added some water to get it to flow. That's what I thought. 
IT hub, maybe your name is Hug Dimple. <laughs> oh, Joycey. It's pretty smushy there, but yeah, yeah. you walk away and you saw the thing. Yeah, I'm hoping she can she can do that, Eileen. Jen said she'd um, come back on this weekend and finish them. So yeah, I hope she can do that. I'm I'm thinking it's probably dry enough. Let's go with it. Well, right there, see the let me sop some of that up. Yeah, you can see how it's kind of moving. <laughs> Eruption. Thanks. Popping a pimple, right? <laughs> but you can see how it's kind of moving underneath. But actually, um, it's all going to dry eventually if I just leave it out, right? All right. One more blow dry on this one real quick. All right, wet, dry or wet, it doesn't matter. We're going with it, right? We're going with it. All right, so the first thing Jen did, and I don't think mine's still as fluffy as hers. Maybe it is. I don't know. I have a hard time remembering. It's been 12 hours. But she took this and she did use the Bria Reese gold that Xandra had brought to her. Um, I'm just not sure what to use in place of the um, walnut stain. I have the walnut stain stamp pad, but I don't have the reinker. She used the um, reinker for her ink colors. So I might have to use like an FW ink or something like that. Uh, you know what? This, this paintbrush needed to be, I'm going to get a clean one. Start over. Um, there's still too much of that tan in there. I'll just get a different brush. See how much gold I was losing all the gold. And I've got another crapola one. Nope, don't want to use that one. I think I put it away. Don't want to use my new one. Eh, this one will work. It's more, it's kind of a stipple brush um, texture. It should be fine.
And did she cover the whole thing, Eileen? I think she did. Yo, oh, it's too watered down. Oh, that gold is so pretty. I, I still think I like the Dina gold. She didn't paint the whole thing. See, I don't remember. I don't remember. She put it on and then sprayed it. I don't remember. We're going to do a whole back. We're going to do the whole background now. This Bria Reese is nice, but I'm not sure where you can get it anymore. Um, I got this at the Hobby Lobby clearance um, for like no money, which was cool. Um, but I still think I like the Dina Wakely gold better. She left some white to show. Okay, I'll just go over the tops. This is really pretty. The gold was, oh, God, it was so pretty. And she did the um, the dark first, right, Eileen? She did the, yeah, because we were talking that we wanted the contrast on the, um, sorry, I'm getting off screen here. I left a little bit of white, not very much. Um, and I don't remember if she dried it. I'm going to dry it first um, because it is acrylic. If it's dry, the gold won't move. So, and when you get into the other stuff that you're going to add on top, um, it may or may not be permanent. So, this won't take but a second to dry. That gold is delicious. That gold is just lickable. All right, it's dry enough that I think we can add on top of it. So I'm going to have to use, let me see what of the dark browns. I can mix some watercolor. Let's see. Let's see what browns I have in here. Okay, the dark browns. Well, I do have, this is almost the FW. Let's see what this is. This is sepia. Um, it's pretty dark. Actually, let me see if I've got a, yeah, I've got this. Or, you've got to shake these FW inks to the sediment settles. I love the gold. I do love the gold. I could lick it, Eileen. Which is weird because I'm really, yeah, that is definitely dark. Definitely dark. Okay, that's that's very close to the walnut stain. So, yeah, we're going to go with the sepia. That's what we're going with. <clears throat> Woohoo! 
All right, this is going to be the binding edge. So do I want the drippage to go this way or this way? Because that's what I've got to plan now. I think I'm going to start the drippage up here and let it go down this way toward off the page. Have you done any marble papers? I haven't, Lynn, but if you tell me how, we can do that. <laughs> marble papers would be pretty on the inside if they're kind of grungy-ish, you know. All right, here we go. Jen would like a line across the top like that. And then just spread it and let it run. So, oh, that just went everywhere. <laughs> Might have to add some. There we go. Added some. And if it goes somewhere where I don't want it, I'll just sop it up, right? Look at that. I want to lick it right now. With the paint floating on water or shaving cream. Okay. Remind me of that, Lynn, if you would, please. Because um, I get off here and start cleaning up. And the next thing I know, I'm like, I'm off in another freaking land. Oh, my gosh, you guys. That is so flipping pretty. I think I'm going to, like up here where I left this real, real dark, I think I'm going to leave another couple really, really dark places. One on this edge up here, since it's already kind of dark. Um, I'm going to let that run, and I'm going to leave those areas real dark. Because I'm going to add vintage photo here in a minute. Um, the thing I can't decide is if I want, um, do I want to dry it first? Um, so th this is acrylic ink, so it's not going to move. Um, when I add the um, vintage photo, yeah, this is a toilet paper one, Suzanne. Let it mix, okay, because I was going to say the vintage photo is going to be water soluble, and um, all right, where is it? Here it is, vintage photo. Well, I've got the distressing, I thought I had the little re inker too. I do. I like vintage photos, so I have an extra of everything. I hope Tim Holtz loves all his millions because of us. All right. Here we go. Pads. And the vintage than the walnut or the sepia did. Oh, it's so pretty. If I get too much, I'll just wipe it off. No big deal. This one is absolutely so pretty. I may have changed my mind about which one I want to keep. 
I want some dark in there though. When it, it seeps down into the cracks. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's so pretty. I am in love with this, Eileen, absolutely in love with it. It's just, you know, it's almost like magic happening before your very eyes, for real. It really is. I hope that doesn't change. Can you see that down in there? Look at how dirty my hands are. Yeah, that is some kind of pretty, for real. I do want some more dark in there, and I think I want the real dark. We act and sound like a bunch of mad scientists at a convention. I'm sure we do. That's what I feel like. The only thing is I'm not at a convention and there aren't men, stripper men around here. Maybe Robert will strip later. I don't know. Isn't that what happens at conventions? How the strippers turn out? That is just absolutely so pretty, you guys. All right, I'm going to blow it real quick. Um, did Jen end up adding turquoise to hers? I'm not adding turquoise to this. This is too pretty the way it is. Um, but it seemed to me as though Jen was going to add a little, poor Robert. <laughs> it seemed to me like Jen was going to add turquoise to hers or something. It was like, no, 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 leave it alone. It's perfect. Just the way it is. This is some um, kind of pretty. So you guys, you got to make one of these. I do need some patina color. All right. Oh. Not very much, I mean. I want you to look at this. Look at, oh my gosh. Isn't that pretty? It's yes, toilet it paper. Is. Wow. That's so cool. How huh? did you get it to crinkle up like that? Because I'm need... magic. Don't you know that? <laughs> I'm magic. <laughs> it's it's it is. Eileen said hi, sweet Robert. <laughs> he said hi. You're going to do it so you can use your Lindy. See, that's really cool that you can use your cool products. Lynn said, hey, Robert. Yo, Robert. <laughs> that's Joycey. Yo, Robert. <laughs> All right. Patina color, I'm sure. All of them are saying, hey, Robert. I'm so sorry you have to live with her. <laughs> no, they didn't say that. I made that up. <laughs> I told Didi this morning, I feel sorry for you having to live with me. Don't <laughs> lie. Um, I'm kind of thinking, I know if I ask Eileen, she's going to say, you have to use green patina, but I'm kind of um, thinking, let me see what I've got. I'm kind of wanting to add red to this one. Elaine says, hi, Robert. Hi. Elaine is the real Elaine. The what? The real Elaine. Cottage Elaine. Oh, tell her hi. She's at the stream today. Oh, cool. All right, looking here. I have to get out the Inca Golds again. I've got green. I was going to say, I wonder. <laughs> Suzanne's telling on me, Robert, she's wasting toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Copper green. Yeah, see, Joyce, that's kind of what I was thinking. 
and Eileen says, um, the real I Elaine is not in your imaginary Elaine. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Yeah, this is, I did this specifically because of Jen last night. Um, there's the green. You guys know me. I would do blue. I always do blue. But I've got some really pretty red, too. Oh, it's hard as a rock. I haven't fixed these yet. All right. Um, how about I put gold on it, Elaine? <laughs> We're going to go with... Uh, I'm kind of thinking it's got to be the green. I really do. I think it just will look better with the green. But I'm not going to do much. I need to watch the videos where you do the base part. Not hard at all, Kathy. Not at all. Um, Got to get some water for my little finger. I'm going to put it on with my finger. That stuff's crap. I Well, Elaine, or Eileen, you've almost convinced me. And I think Tuesday when we go to town, I'm going to go into Michael's and see. I picked it up the last time I was in there. Um, okay, Lynn, go have a fun day. Um, all right, I'm going to do it on the table first. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of green, but not much. Can you guys see? Actually, the dark might have been nice, too, but now I've done the green. But that's about all I'm going to do. That brown, oops, that brown was still a little moist. So, yeah, Eileen, I might have to go into Michael's on Tuesday. And um, look into some of that thin paste for sure. Yeah, I like it. I love this. I just think this is awesome. I love it. All right. <clears throat> We're going to set that one aside. I, I honestly could just lick that. Just lick it. All right, let's see if we got any more crackles on our crackle one. It's still kind of wet. It didn't crackle like I hoped it would, and that bums me out because I really wanted some crackles here. Heat gun. I think the toilet paper may have um, affecting how the glue works. I don't know. This one actually is, um, I'm going to say it's dry enough. I was thinking, why couldn't I just put another coat of the glue over this? Um, and then use the, and make another gold one. Is it crackler modeling paste or just paste? Oh, you mean um the thin stuff yeah it's like a rub a rubbing paste um i mean she has the um if you're talking about the finabare product she has both but the ones i'm talking about are the paste that you rub on you can use it on metal you can use it on anything really but she's got some out right now at michael's and I picked them up like three or four times. I just never bought them.
actually, I haven't even been going to Michael's for like the last two months, really since the Hobby Lobby clearance. Yeah, this is just not crackling like I hoped it would. I'm trying to figure out how to revive it. See, that's what I'm thinking too. Um, the gold is terrible stuff. What gold is terrible stuff? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the Inca products. Um, Mostly because they dry out. I mean, you just, it hardens and molds. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm, if there's a better paste out there, I'd certainly be interested in learning about it. I'm thinking that too, Jean, that if I went ahead and added another layer of the white glue, um, but at this point it may never dry in my lifetime. This poor paper. I mean, like water is coming out the back of it. But yeah, that's what I'm thinking is, could I make this work by adding more? Yeah, I like the thin colors too. Yeah, thanks, Joyce. She is definitely set in her ways, no doubt about it. Yeah, I don't think it matters how much more I dry this. I just I just can't believe how much water keeps coming out of the back. Um, but I really don't think by drying it anymore, I'm going to get any more. So um, that's why I'm thinking. All right, we're going to, I'm going to think about it while I, work on the blue one. This one's still real wet too. Dry it from the back, yeah. Put it in a real low temperature oven. That might work. I'm not loving this blue that I put it. The color paper is longer this water. Yeah, it, I think it sucked up the water from the, the blue for sure. I'm not loving this blue though. I have to say that. But we're going to go ahead and, um, and add magicals, I think, to this one. So there's maybe no point in drying it because this is the dryer lit one. Um, so it's going to suck up moisture like crazy. Add blue gilding to it. I could do that. But I want, it, I want to um, I want to do magicals on this one. Just change the color. Yep, I'm going to. But I'm going to do it with magicals. found I have some gold why is this not down with the other inks check it out I have the FW gold acrylic ink too it's in the wrong place hmm in the right place here's the magical all right with the blue background I probably...
Are you seeing lots of faces in this one? Just let it air dry for weeks. There you go, Josie. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. With blue, we can add green, purple. Um, if we add red, we're going to get purple. Um, I do have the, what's, this is the grab a guy gold. We might have to add some of that. I'm thinking the dark blue, purple. That's what I'm thinking. Talk to it in all the hot air. <laughs> Why do I like Eileen, Robert? Mm -hmm. Why do I even like her? Because she's a good person. You think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she says ignorant things to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> she just said, talk to it and all the hot air will dry it faster. <laughs> all right. <laughs> she's so not funny. So not funny. And do not <laughs> encourage really Yeah, do not encourage her, Robert Vaughn. All right, here we go. We're going to wet it. Even though we just blew it, we're going to wet it. I don't think the acrylic is going to move now. No, it's not. So um, this will be like doing magicals on top of gesso, essentially, because there's a barrier there, right? Um, so I'm going to do the navy blue first. Josie just said, oh, my God, more water. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Look at, can you see how it's going down into the cracks? Really cool looking. Oh, come on, camera. This is how we're resurrecting this, Josie. <laughs> I need some more right down in here. The, the acrylic should act as the barrier, Josie. That's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm counting on. But it's really gone down in the cracks nicely. Now I'm going to let some of it run off. Yeah, it is pretty. And I'm, I'm going to add a couple of the dark spots back in because I just see how that ran and it went all down into the little cracks. Now I'll add just some of the navy back just to leave. And then we're going to add some purple on top of it. I love how it, um, you think just go direct to the gold and don't add purple, Eileen. You think? I think it'll be awesome. Okay, come back again, Stephanie. Thanks. Go have a great day. Okay, we're going to use the grab a guy, grab a guy gold. Okay, I need to spray a little bit. The magicals work a little bit better, honestly, if they're dropped in too wet. So I know it seems counterproductive to be um, wetting it again after I've been begging it to dry to work well. That's kind of the deal.
I maybe should have dried it in between. I kind of suspect I should have, but we'll find out. It'll run. And then I'm going to dry it, and then I can add some of the gold back in. Um, I, should, I honestly should have dried all that blue right where it was, where I wanted it. Yeah, just use grab a guy. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dry this because I, I really don't want the blue, the navy, to move so much. It has measles. I know. See, that's the problem. That is, maybe I can pick it up a little bit. Because um, I don't want the blue to move, and then I'll add the gold back in. How about that? I love the navy down in the cracks. It's very cool looking. Has gold measles. We're going to fix that, Eileen. Just don't be getting all your panties in a wad. We're going to fix it. We're going to fix it, Eileen. All right. He Sorry. Well, I want that to move a little bit. This one actually is going to end up being really cool, I think. Well, it's my colors. So that's probably why I think that. There we go. Oh, it's so pretty. All right, I'm going to blow that and keep the blue right where it is. And then we're going to, um, we'll add the gold back and get rid of the music. All Actually, this can come off now. Yeah, now the blue stain put, it's going to be better. Lots better. And don't forget, this is the dryer lint one. It's going to take a lifetime to dry, but it really is pretty. And actually, you know, you guys, I should be writing down the products and the colors that I, because I've got to make the rest of the folders that are going to match these or the rest of the cover. Oops. Probably should have done that all at the same time, right? All right, I don't think that blue is going to move now. It should be dry enough that it should stay put is what I'm hoping. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the blue gold so far. Um, you know what I could, well, just thinking. Um, I'm going to do some more of the magicals, but I think I'm actually going to rub the top this with the Inca gold or the I've also got um the precious metals one testers craft um I might use this gold leaf on it um but I will go ahead and add some more of this and I know counterintuitive but um it's got to be wet for the colors to run You know what I don't like about these shakers? Like the ones that I made myself have really, really small holes. Um, this almost lets too much out all at once. 
Um, so I guess the moral of that story is make your own shakers. I'm going to try and get it to run a little bit, but I think it's going to look better when I do the actual rub on gold. I really do. This is kind of turning yellow or kind of orangish. Um, and some of the blue is running. So yeah, I think I'm going to leave it. Nope. I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the gold on it. The gold does look really pretty with these colors. It looks really, really rich. Um, And see, it diluted some of my blue, which bums me out now. Um, I'm going to add some blue back to it before I dry it up in here. It kind of washed the blue out of the cracks, and I like the blue in the cracks. Here's something I've never done, is put the magicals exactly where I want them. <laughs> There, down in the cracks like that. I like that. One of the problems, because I, I know I'm a control freak. I mean, this is not a surprise to anybody who knows me well, is that I, I'm really um, a control freak. <laughs> One of the problems I have with the Magicals is you have almost no control. You have to just let it go and be happy with whatever you end up with. For me, that's a little bit difficult. <laughs> and Jean, don't you say a word because you're a control freak too. Actually, some of the all right, here's we're gonna try another thing too. We'll try it in a small area, but I'm gonna take some of this vintage photo. My favorite one of my favorite color combinations is brown and blue together i do love that i love it a lot um i'm gonna take some vintage photo and try and put it in here a little <laughs> There. Uh, yeah, the vintage photo here and there, I think will be better. Yeah, this is good. I like the vintage photo better than the gold. I will say that. There, I think that gives it just. Yeah, that's better. I'll use up the vintage photo. That white binding annoys me. I have discovered my fingers. Yeah, they'll never be the same. But that's okay. I have to wash my hair. And washing your hair always makes your fingers cleaner. All right, now I'm going to rest some gold on it after I dry it real quick.
Yeah, this one's looking really cool. But I keep losing all my navel blue. But that's okay. When the gold gets on it, it's going to look really good. Okay. We're going to try the precious metals gold leaf. They had a bunch of this. Um, during the Hobby Lobby sale. Now I wish I'd bought more of it because I do like this a lot. <clears throat> it's more liquid than the Inca Gold, um, but I, I like the color better. It's just richer or something. So... Um, and I think it's an acrylic base. Nope, water-based. Dries quickly, low odor. Oops, there's the stuff that I need. Just pushed it out the side. I'm going to have this crap absolutely everywhere. Ugh. Okay. And I will seal this um, with matte medium or something like that um, when it dries. I'm not going to mess with it until it's completely dry, which this one may take the rest of my natural life. I'm not sure, but it might. Yeah, the gold does add a lot to it, and it kind of ties it all together. Um, it makes it really pretty. It really, really does. And I'm barely putting on any. I mean, you almost have to look, turn to the side to see it. Can you see it if I do from the side? But there isn't a whole lot on there. So that one I'm going to go ahead and say, um, as far as I'm concerned, it's pretty much done. I'll go ahead and seal it. Um, I'm eager to work with these because they have the um, area over here for the binding. So, yeah. So we got the blue one. I'm going to bring the gold one back over and show it again because it's so gorgeous. Look at this. Look at that. Uh, that is some kind of cool. I It could use some dark down in the middle there, I think. I'd like more gold down or dark down in there. I wonder if I should add some. What do you think? I want to add some. I'm going to. I'm going to do it. And what time is it? 12. I want some more. I didn't put much. I'm going to add water and let it run. This is really fun. I, I'm enjoying the hell out of this. This is way fun.
Yeah, the dark helped. Do your thing. I did my thing. I, I like when the dark is really down in there. It just makes it look so yummo. Okay, what other one do we have? The one that is never going to dry in my natural lifetime. Coffee. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've got the coffee one that's already painted one color. <coughs> and we have to add to it. Um, and then we can alter this one some more too because I'm not loving this. Um, oh, it was the crackle one. Yeah, it's sitting here. I can't tell if that bad boy is going to crackle or not. We're going to let it. It looks like it is getting more crackles in there. They're kind of small, but it looks like they are. it is getting more crackly. All right. What color do we want on the coffee one? I'm going to see real quick because, see, I have room to bind this one over here if I get that little bit of coffee here off. I don't really want to break my exacto blade, but we're going to give it a go. There we go. All right. Um, I'll paint that back with the, the raw sienna because that'll give me about a quarter inch to work with on this edge for binding. So um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. You are like snakes, leave them be, you will find something for it. You don't mind glue on your finger, you just don't like paint. That's strange, Jean. That's all I gotta say is that is strange. And I I hate getting my hands dirty initially. And I, I don't mind admitting that. Initially I hate the whole idea of my hands getting icky. Um but then after they're dirty, it's balls to the wall. I don't care. Let's go for it. We are dirty now. We are we are gonna die dirty. <laughs> That's it. Um, yeah. So I've got a good quarter inch here to work with now. So that this one will be easy to bind. Not a problem. All right. What do we want to add to this? See, this one's already so dark to start with. I almost feel like um, acrylic paint is about all you're going to be able to add to this one to recover from the darkness of the material that I used on it, which I don't remember now. Um, if they still make the, I imagine they do, Joyce still make the hematite Inca. Yeah. Um, go to Joanne's um, website. I think they still carry the Inca gold products on their website, but they don't carry them in the stores anymore if I'm right, but I'm not sure. Um, fuchsia or magenta. Fuchsia or magenta? See, I think we're going to lose that. Yes, maybe if you lighten it, add yellow. Looks like chili for corn dogs or for hot dogs. Um, just trying to think. How much fuchsia? The cherry red Bombay ink is pretty. And here's the magenta Liquitex. They're very, very close to the same color. Um, probably the the red is India ink, and this is acrylic. Um, probably both somewhat transparent. Let's 
let's look because if they're transparent, it's not gonna um, probably not. You need brighter colors on it. See, that's what I think too. Um, because I'm thinking um, these inks are gonna be pretty transparent, and that's not gonna help anything. It's not gonna change anything. So. <clears throat> yeah, they're they're pretty transparent. Um, they're almost the same color, Joycey. Can you see that? There's so little difference in their their color. Um, I don't mind leaving them out, but I kind of agree that we I need to add some yellow or. Um, Actually, even white. If I got out some white acrylic paint, um, that's what I'm thinking is really just shock the hell out of it. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. Or a soft yellow. Um, here's like ivory. Rather than going white, just go with something ivory. Um, I need, yeah, it needs to be opaque. It definitely needs to be opaque because otherwise, the, with the transparency, that brown, the brown is just gonna um, overpower anything I put on top of it. And what I'm thinking is, if I watered down some of this and put it on with not a essentially a dry brush kind of not covered the whole thing just dry brushed it on um use your finger with gesso i'm thinking because of the texture shauna um if i go with like a dry brush and just do places i can lighten the whole thing up but leave the dark down in the crevices that's what i'm thinking what the hell? We're going to go for it. We're going to use this ivory. Maybe the dumbest thing ever, but that's what we're going to do. We'll water it down a hair. But essentially put it on dry brush. I don't know where. There's my rag. Um, Um, but I don't want it like full strength either, if you know what I mean. Well, let's start at the edge. Okay. Just thought of something else. It is definitely lightened it up, right? And then take a baby wipe and then go back over that. And really, I'm not putting much on at all, but it definitely has lightened it up, but it's left the dark down in the crevices. So, yeah, I think this was maybe a good way to lighten it up. And now that it's light, I wouldn't mind going with like a, a dark rub on top of it. Like the hematite joist. Um, the, the base of this one is, um, coffee grounds. And I think I'm only going to do this on the textured part. Yep. It definitely lightened it up. Now we can add color. 
Um, Joyce, you want to try some magenta? Now I don't mind because the magenta will um, will actually work. Before it wasn't going to work. I was I'm convinced of that. We're going to dry brush it on again so we can control it because it's all about the control, you know. Mm, that's too pink. Nope. That bad boy, that, that's going away. Don't like the magenta. Sorry. Don't like it at all. Got to be more earthy. Definitely got to be more earthy. This is too earthy colors to put red on it. Now I gotta get this pink off my brush. <laughs> There'll be that little bit of red there that I probably am never gonna be able to get rid of, but that's okay. I guess I could add it a couple more places so it looks like that's really what we intended. Don't want it dark though, for sure. Try a purple. We got purple. Well, I say I've got purple. What Eileen said. Well, of course. Purple and orange, what the hell? That's like Halloween. Last time I used purple and orange, Eileen made me do it for Halloween. And I don't think I was happy then either. I do have a, a really nice deep violet. The purple's not bad. All right. With the purple, I know what I want. Maybe I'll add turquoise here in a minute. Um, but purple, turquoise green all those colors i like those all together for sure and really i'm i'm adding almost none you guys but this is the only way color was ever going to show up on this I'm going to go ahead and add it to the background now as well. It does still smell really good like coffee. I have to say that. Now we're going to add a nice green. Um, that's too icky green. Um, yeah, we're going to add some of this dark green. It's not real dark green, but we're going to add the dark green. More earthy. Yep, that's what I think will help.
All right, what are you guys thinking it needs? The blue, green, and purple. I saved this. Could you please demo the hematite rub ink if you have time? Yes, I will. In fact, I'm thinking I'm going to put it on this one, Joyce, to go ahead and darken it back up. So, um, yes, I will do that. Didn't want to do that. That was too much, too much waste the water. There we go. Well, if I'm going to have this cleaned up before I go to bed tonight, I probably need to start in the um, next five minutes. <laughs> you want some silver? I don't, God, do I have much silver? Um, the silver I have, Eileen, is the, because I'm not a silver person, but I do have, um, in the um, fine tech, Water colors, I do have that sterling silver one. Um, but I don't have a rose gold. And I really, I don't have a rose gold anything that I can think of. Um, I would have one if I bought those um, watercolors that Xander showed the other night. <laughs> Here's the, the sterling silver that I have. So let me go ahead and water it down this is really really this is different than all of them as far as texture and what it feels like um god eileen i think i really need those shimmery freaking watercolors and i did not want to blow 50 bucks <sighs> All right, I'm going to set this aside while that watercolor softens for a minute, and we're going to go ahead and use the inks that we've got here. On this, I'm just going to use them up. Let's see, because I'm not loving this, um, this one at all. I'm really not. I, I think the green was too bright or something. I don't know, but. I'm not loving it. I know that. Maybe that's what I need to do. And these colors are actually moving, so I don't remember what I used on it. Oh, maybe that's what it needs. And at this point, I don't care if I wreck it. Honestly, if it goes in the garbage, it won't bother me a bit. You so love spending my money, you freak. All right, softening up these colors has helped a lot. Or just going over lightly where you can, the beads really pop out. Um, You don't need to wreck it. Send it to me. I'm just experiment and playing Suzanne. So I don't think it, you know, at the end of the day, what I could do is actually just paint over it with the raw sienna and start from scratch again. Um, so in a lot of ways, it's just learning and experimenting. Um, it's, I, I can tell you now, it, it will never be one of my favorites. I know that going in. Um but yeah, now just playing an experiment with it is is fun. Um, I like it better since I've 
put the ivory on it and left some of the dark down underneath. All right, wash the brush, wash the brush, wash the brush. Torture is real when it comes to thinking and buying supplies. Tell me, Joyce. Oh, my gosh. The problem is, you know, I, I want it all. And you just can't have it all. I mean, you just can't. So, yeah. You have to be kind of selective. All right. I'm not sure if I want to rub this on the top. Um, I'm going to rub it, I think here on the table and then I'll put it on with my finger because I, I just feel like I have more control. Use a baby wipe on it. You can just not all at once. Yeah. Well, uh, there's not enough time left in my life to have it all. All right. You want me to put the silver right on the top of this Eileen? Oops. Yeah. Here's me and my control. <laughs> Golly. There are a couple things that I have really not regretted spending the money on. And I'll tell you what they are. The Neo 2s. I feel like the Neo 2s, even though they're very high priced, I have so, so, so gotten my money's worth out of the Neo 2s. Um, I would buy them again without a moment's hesitation. Um, obviously, my Prismacolor pencils, I use them virtually every day. Um, I, I would spend money for them again. Um, I still got a little bit, hon. Thank you. Um, these fine tech, they are the most luscious gold of anything you've ever bought. I don't regret buying them. I'm trying to think if there's really anything else that I use so regularly. Posca pens, I think, is something you just have to have. Um, just on top in spots. Oh, I like the silver. Have you got the fine tech colors? I have not bought the fine tech colors yet. Um, and I think if I'm going to get a buy the ones that Z showed the other night. Um, I resisted the fine tech colors a lot. So, and I've never had the real just desire to have them. A white gel pen is another one. Um, you have all of the fine tech pearls and you love them. I don't know. I really like those ones. Z showed the other night. I'm just not sure I want to jump in for 50 bucks. Are you liking this better now? It definitely has changed with um, the lightening it up for sure. And the silver does stand out a lot. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Where's my baby wipe? There, I wanted it just on the tops. And because this is watercolor, if I decide I don't, don't want this on here at all, all I've got to do is um, wipe it and it's off. That's the, the beauty of watercolor. Now, um, Joycey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the Inca Gold Hematite. And it's a, it comes out more like a slate gray. Um, and it helps if you, if your finger is a little bit wet when you use these, um, I'll go over some of this with the, um, the dark now. And I definitely will probably go around the edges and it may be hard to tell on this, Joycey. Um, I think it's going to be really hard to tell on this. 
yeah, it's going to be really hard to tell. Um, I am going to go around the whole edge of this, though, with the dark. The dark shimmery. Can you see that, Joycey? Use it to ink the edges. Can you see that? And I don't know who said that I found my fingers. I, I've always kind of inked my edges with my fingers. Okay. And any or all of this can be undone, you know, if wasn't happy with, undo it, paint over it, start over. I don't I don't get real invested in this stuff, you guys. I really don't. I'm I'm happy when things turn out um cool, but honestly, I it's like whatever. I don't get emotionally involved, I guess. This one is definitely dark. Um, I like it though. I like my favorite is that first toilet paper one and the gold one from today. That gold one is so pretty. I might have to end up making another one of those. Some of these that are over here on the edge, I'm going to go ahead and darken up. One nice thing about the coffee grounds is like they stick up so that I don't have to worry about my fingers touching the background board at all. Can you see? Looks cool. You are really liking this one? Um, it's definitely different. I have to say it's, it's definitely different. I like it. And I'm not sure if the camera really does, does it justice. I don't know. Um, it looks really cool in the camera, I have to say that. And I might take some of the, that dark and go in and emphasize some of the crevices. Um, I did that um, on one of them, I can't remember which one, but I went in with the dark, dark ink. Let me see if I can find it. Afternoon. Is it this one? Almost has to be this one. Yeah. Services. Um, this one actually might be able to use some red or So I might go back in on this one and maybe even with black or something. You think you're going to get that Inca? Um, I think it would be really useful. Joyce, you probably would use it, would be my guess. This one, this one almost feels steampunk to me. Like I need to add some gears or something to it. I don't think I have any gears, but if I had some, I could add it. I might have gears somewhere. All right, and I gotta look up Japanese stab bind, stab by stab binding. All right, I think that one. I'm gonna call that done for now. Here's the crackle. This is the only one that's left. It it is differently. I can't tell. I really can't tell. But I. I don't know. I think if I want more crackle, I'm definitely going to have to put more glue on top of it. You guys don't want to sit and 
Um, yeah, see, steampunk. Um, I think if I want more crackle on this, I'm going to have to do more glue. Just thinking, hey, Jean, were you wanting to come back on and work on your painting some more? Because I'm about ready to call it a day, clean this mess up. It's one o'clock. Um, and then watch some videos on stab binding. Conference call for work in a few minutes. Okay, bye, Shauna. Um, but go ahead and, and try and get this one to crackle and I can show it to you later. Um, I'm going to do the exact same technique again. I'll just paint it with the um, school glue. Because right. it's got some crackles. I just want it to have more crackles. I'm doing it. Here we go. And you do need a fairly good layer of glue. That I do remember. All right, that should be enough. Oh, good, Suze. Appreciate that. I like when people either learn something or get inspired or whatever. Um, it's fun for me. And if I think you guys are really enjoying it too, that just makes it that much better. Okay, you want a really, really good layer of glue on this. And I maybe don't even have enough glue on here right now. But you want a really, really, really good layer of glue. I'm going to even add more because this is going to work if it kills me. And if it doesn't, oh well, <laughs> what are you going to do? And maybe even a, um, I mean, this, I'm not going to wreck another brush because I've got this glue brush, but um, even a brush that has stiffer bristles or something, I think will help your chances of getting good crackle. Maybe I'll use, yeah, I will use that. Did I put, nope. I'm going to put the same neutral color on it. Hey, Julie. Yeah, heavy on the glue. That's what I remember too, Joyce. Um, and then while it's still wet, you have to put the acrylic paint on. So here we go. And I think I am going to use this zipper brush. Um, I'm going to wash the brushes like right now anyway. So if it gets glue on it, no big deal. It'll come off and I'm not getting up in the ferrule. All right, and I one thing I know for certain is do not overwork it. So that's as much as I'm going to do. Now, crazily, by doing all that, I've almost lost the bulk of the texture that I had underneath. But now I'm for the crackle, so I'm going for it. You might want to mute if you want because I'm going to use a heat gun on this bad boy. We are going to get crackle if it kills me. Or just buy some crackle paste. Well, you can do that. I don't use crackle that much, honestly. I don't. But now I want crackle. This is going to take five years to dry. But I'm going to see if I get some crackle.
Yep, it's starting to crackle down here. Maybe I just didn't have enough fuel before. The, the cheap um, school glue is the best. Yeah, this is starting to crackle like crazy now. Um, and if you have uh, the more dense colors, what it now? Yeah, this is starting to crackle like crazy now. Oh, I'm glad I did it. I'm glad I did it on stream. So you guys will see now. It's working now, Eileen. Eileen, Elaine. This one I'm thinking I definitely do. Um, yeah, it is looking really good, isn't it? You can start to really see the crackle. See how crackly it is? This really looks all right and now i think i'm gonna go ahead and let that air dry um i think if i start it may never dry as it is, I mean, there's a lot of drying needs to go on. So we'll mess with this one the next time. Yeah, it's a stone wall. That's what it kind of looks like. You feel bad because you have three jars of crackle. How'd you get three jars of crackle? Jeez, you crackle hoarder. I'm not suffering. This is hardly suffering, Elaine. I do I would not put this under the category of suffering. For real, I don't think I'm suffering. You are a crackle hoarder now. I didn't realize that about you, crackle hoarder. I do want to remove this before it dries too much. Um, or I'll never get it off. There we go. All right. Got it off. You sent me to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag it's all Eileen's fault. I couldn't have had anything to do with that. It had to be Eileen. I'm pretty sure it was Eileen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But this is how the crackle worked. I might do another one um, with nothing underneath it, with just the crackle. Because if the crackle's done right, it is really, really cool looking. So, hey, well, hashtag you know it. I definitely am going to do another one of the gold. I really am. The blue came out awesome. You just have to ignore the brown where I painted that, where I'm going to bind it. Um, this is, this is my favorite by far, by far, by far. Yep. That's my favorite. And the, you can see the green there, but it's just barely there. Like you can't see it very much. So it's nice. This is really nice. I don't know if anybody else is streaming. You guys are going to have to get your tricker hat pants on. Here's the blue. I like the blue. Um, 
I'm a little disappointed that the, um, and I may add something back after it dries. This one's still really wet. Now this is the um, lint one. So it may take, I may have to go put it back in the dryer. Um, I'm a little disappointed that the dark blue did not stay down in the crevices. So I may have to do something about that. I really may. Um, because I really want the dark blue down in the crevices. I may have to just add more dark blue to this. Because this one, now that the, and, and that's the deal with the Magicals. Um, when you're working with something really, really absorbent, the Magicals almost spread out to the point. Um, yeah. So this one, I want more navy down in the cracks. So I'm going to have to. I'll, I'll work with this one some more. This one will get done later. Um, what else did we do? One, two. Well, I guess, did we do three? Yeah, we did three. And then um, messed with some of the ones that I'd already done. Um, this one was the coffee grounds one. This one reminds me a lot of this one, which is more colorful because it's got the light on the top. This one's going to be hard to bind. I'm going to have to really work with this one. I don't know. And this was Spackle, I think. And see, I covered up the back where I wrote what each of them was done with. So now I don't know. This one definitely is sand. I know this one's sand. I got to move this out of the way because I'm going to trash it out if I don't. <clears throat> Yeah, I know this one's sand. And you can tell it is because it's heavier than all the rest. This was my first favorite before I did this one. You know what? You almost just can't beat that toilet paper. Um, yeah, you could do like a great big one on the wall like this would be just gorgeous. Um, I'm not sure I'd hang the gold on my wall, but. Like the brown, I definitely would. Um, that's toilet paper. This is gauze. It's all mossy. This one could use some more brown, I think. I like the earthy color ones the best. Um, I really do. I like this one because... It looks like the, the shadow of the string is actually painted in, but it's not. It will change depending on what direction you're looking at it. And this is the eggshell one. It's very different. This is probably the most unique one of all, this eggshell one. It is really, really different. And I use the hematite um, Inca on it so it doesn't have any real glimmer or anything like that. And then the glass beads, which I've just been jacking with. I don't know. This one I'm still not convinced is. I don't know. I like it better since I, I painted the stuff on top of it. Um, yeah, the eggshells, that definitely is really unique. Really, really unique. And colors are so rich on this one. So save your eggshells. And then I may jack around with um, the toilet paper one. So I've got two that I've still got to jack around with a little bit. But that'll happen after I clean up my mess. You like the one? You like the, you like that one? I don't know. I'm just, I. It's not like I dislike it. I, I'm just not a fan. Yeah, I think they all turned out pretty darn good considering I went into this not knowing what the hell I was doing. Um, and yeah, I'll go look into that Japanese stab binding and see, um, see about finishing these up. 
One thing I'm going to have to do, um, I probably won't finish them until next week because I need to buy some more raw sienna paint. I'm almost out of raw sienna. Um, on the one you don't like, come back with some gold on top, maybe. I was thinking about doing something real contrasty, Kathy. That's ultimately what I was thinking is go in and put some real, real dark into the cracks and then something on you know, very high contrast on top. Um, might save it. So, all right, you guys, go do something creative and fun this afternoon. Go make one of these because this is, it looks like gold. Like I could take it to the bank and they should give me money for it. Don't you think? Here, tell her, can I have money now? Because this is gorgeous. All right, I shall see you guys later. Thanks for coming. We'll catch you next time. Thanks, Eileen. Thanks for modding, as always. Love you guys. See you. Bye.